Then I want to talk about this uh, one guy. His name is Chow. This is at the very bottom. I've known about him for a couple of years, and and um, I still remember at the American Paralysis Association, where I was on the advisory board for many, many years, um, we kept on getting applications from this Chinese guy uh, who was applying to us to do this strange sort of peripheral nerve rerouting. He, what he wanted to do was to take a peripheral nerve in, from the spinal cord below the injury site, connect that spinal root nerve to the nerve that goes to the bladder. And he reasoned that if he then stimulates that particular nerve by scratching the dermatome that fed that particular nerve, that he could get uh, the bladder to function again. Uh, it was really far-fetched. And he demonstrated this in dogs. And I still remember in 1989, everybody said, oh, God, you know, this is terrible. But the scientists said, oh, this is very interesting. But everybody who had spinal cord injury on the study section, on, on the advisory board, said, no, no, we don't want this. We want to be able to use our brains to, to operate our bladder. We don't want that scratch your butt too low. <laughs> <laughs> Take a leap. <laughs> well, this guy went on and he joined the staff at NYU, New York Great. University, my institution. I, did, I was at NYU for 20 years. I didn't even know he was there. He was working in the urology department. I was in the neurosurgery department. So we were two ends of the body. Anyway, he, he's done about 50 patients. Absolutely amazing results. And he shows this video. You know, someday you should invite him to, to speak here because he has this video that is absolutely stunning. He has full frontal nude pictures of men peeing. <laughs> and they would stand there, they would scratch their butt, and they would get a three feet screen. <laughs> and you want to say, wow. Well, first of all, I know enough about the bladder to say that in order to get a three feet screen, you need to have a coordinated bladder that is that relaxes the sphincter, that your micturation reflex is completely intact. You cannot get a screen unless you do that. It means that the bladder relaxes the neck of the bladder, the sphincter opens up, and then the bladder squeezes, and you get a three-beat stream. Now, what does this mean to me as a scientist? Well, first of all, he's taking a eventual route from the spinal cord from a place of the spinal cord that has never ever innervated the bladder. Never. This is from some part of the spinal cord that never had anything to do with the bladder and yet it learned how to operate the bladder. And it did so within three months. So what it tells me, above all, is that, is that the spinal cord is extremely plastic. It can learn how to do things. Now, the bladder is parasympathetic and parasympathetic and sympathetic. It's not somatic muscles. It can even learn how to do sympathetic and parasympathetic function. This is how extreme the plasticity of this one is. 